What is going on, guys? I'm Sam Thomas here, George D. Coach. We are San Francisco Arcaniners, and you guys are probably very confused. George, it's not a Sunday. What are you doing? It's not GBA day. Well, I actually decided to participate in a monotype draft style tournament as the San Francisco Arcaniners, of course. And it's basically there are 16 teams, and we're each divided into four different groups. Um, you play three games in like in your group, and then you get put into seeds one through four and then you're put into a direct elimination tournament style so um the first person in the group will play the last person in another group and you go until there's only one person left at the end and uh yeah so you get randomized a monotype which i thought was really cool i was really hoping i'll get like maybe bug or grass or fire or something because you can create some really cool unique sets with that but i got water and don't get me wrong, water is the best monotype out there, in my opinion. But, I didn't want it. <laughs> I really didn't want water. Um, but I got water, and that's what we have to deal with, so... I draft... I don't even have to talk about what I drafted. You see Politoed. Um, that's moral of the story is I drafted Politoed. But I'll quickly go over my team. Um, we had to pick a Mega Pokemon, I picked Mega Swampert. Obvious reasons, and I got Volcanion, Manaphy, Politoed, Lantern, Ludicolo, the Starmie, the Keldeo, the Azumarill, and the Kingdra. So, I drafted a lot of Pokemon that could abuse the rain, but I also drafted Pokemon that could do well without the rain. And our first game of the group happened to be against the. I'm actually gonna say who's in my group. Um, we got a Hawk. Um, he is coach of Chelsea Leo. Um, we have sh we have sh we have Shoddy, coach of Bayern Munich. He's in our group as well. Um, Chelsea Leo is Electric Monotype, who we are playing today. So it's Electric versus Water the first week. Um, so Shoddy also has Bug, and then the last guy I am blanking on his name. I feel bad I'm blanking on his name, but he is the Ice guy. I think it's Nate Dog plays something like that. Um, and he is ice. So that is our group. We are water, electric, ice, and bug. The scariest match is obviously the electric match because I have a water type team and he's super effective against me. However, as I was building for this game, I became cre increasingly happy with my team because I was like, geez, I am going to, I feel like this team has the possibility to absolutely destroy this man. And that's what we're going to try to do. So his team is the... Mega Manectric, the Electros, the Z Zapdos, the Thunderous Incarnate, the Raikou, the, S S the Stunfisk, the Raichu, the Lantern as well, Rotom Mo, which is a huge threat to my team, and Electivire. So, honestly, what I expect him to bring is the Mega Manectric, obviously. Um, the Zapdos, the Thunderous, the Raikou, the, the Lantern, the Rotom Mo, or the Electivire. Those are the seven I'm, I'm expecting. You could also bring Electros, but I think the Electivire and the Rotom Mo are more important. Um, and and the lantern with water absorb I feel like is a must against my team because I'm water type obviously so um, I was building a team and a rule they had is to not have water type and fire type be so broken and sand and hail is you cannot use the weather increasing rocks so I can't use damp rock but I came up with a little strategy that would allow me to get as much rain turns as possible and that is eject button polytoed so I have a very specific plan against this man's team that I was hoping to execute perfectly. Um, lead off with Politoed. I get up my reign. I then switch into most likely my Ludicolo. Um, and I go for Leech Seeds and stuff. And I see what happens. So I can whittle down the team until either my Kingdra or my Swampert can sweep. And then at the point I see they can sweep, I go into my Politoed. I take a hit use my eject button get immediately out of there and get a safe switch into one or the other and just take out the team from there so that's my strategy um i didn't even go through the team and i just said my strategy but got the scald the hydro pump because i don't need any other two moves i'm max specially defensive so i can take the hit i can take t-bolts um i can survive any t-bolt off anything except for specs raikou i think um i have toxic i don't think i'll use toxic but if i need to i will and i have mud shot because why not have mud shot right come on guys um so that's that set. Next up, we got Poncho Man, Ludicolo. This is probably the set I'm the happiest with, even though it's a very standard specially defensive spread. Max HP, max special defense with 8 in special attack. Um, well, not max HP, I have 248. But the Rain Dish, 
Um, this thing allows me to take on the Rotomo. Um, the scariest thing to my team by far because the fact is, this T-Bolt hits a lot of amounts for super effective and it has Leaf Storm, which is the most powerful grass type move, which hits almost every single mod on my team for super effective, except the Volcanian, which I'm not going to bring this week, and my, and my Kingdra, which if he specs, I'm going to take a lot of damage. But you guys will see the set and the plan I have for that. So, this takes about maybe, I'd say 40% to maybe 35% from a Leaf Storm if he's not specs. Um, and then I get the Rain Dish and the Leftovers. And then I know he's not going to stay in if he, if he goes for the Leaf Storm. I can Leech Seed and pretty much get up to full um, every single time. So, that's the idea behind this set. I have the Scald and the, and the Giga Drain because that's just the coverage I need. It's Stab and the Scalds in the Rain. I can burn things and I can heal up with with the Giga Drain. Then I have the Rain Dance just in case the Rain ever runs out and I'm put into a situation where, well shit, don't wanna go into Politoed or it's already dead and I need up my Rain so I have Rain Dance on this thing. Next up I have Lil Blue, the Mega Swampert and I have enough speed to outspeed something. I think it's the Mega Manectric at timid max speed. 104 into HP um, because that's just what I decided to put it in. Um, I was debating defense or special defense just in investing all of it in, but I decided I want to take hits from Electivire, but if I have to take an HP Grass, I want to take an HP Grass. I don't want to get O-Code by it, so I just put it in max HP um, or all into HP. I got the Waterfall, the Earthquake, the only two coverage moves I need, then the Rain Dance if I ever need to set up the Rain on my own, and the Stealth Rocks because I just get up my rocks and I do a lot of damage and I just wear things down. Next up is Mist. So this thing has the Sugar Berry. That's the first thing you guys see. George, facing an electric type team, why do you have a Sugar Berry? Very good question. I like the question. Um, the reason is, is because of Electivire. That thing's a huge threat to my team because the only things that can take the hits on my team are the Swampert, which he can run HP Grass for, or Natural Gift Grass, or whatever he wants to do, or my Lantern, which doesn't want to take Earthquakes. So my plan is to weaken it, um, not give him the motor drive, of course, and just to weaken it and to whittle it down. I have the Scald. I max special attack, so I do have a lot of special attack investment in this thing with Modest. Um, no, I'm actually quiet natured because I wanted to... Wait, why am I quiet natured? I used to have the Sucker Punch on this. That's why I'm quiet natured. I'm not supposed to be quiet. It doesn't matter, though, because I'm not going to outspeed anything anyway. Um, I think this is actually mainly for the slow volt switch against his lantern as well so that's that I, I have icy wind in case i need to outspeed something later on i don't i don't know um in monotype as i was building i've realized that you don't really need a lot of coverage moves you basically have one coverage move on every single pokemon and on my team it's scald you you, you see scald on everything that can run scald except for mega swampert i think um but yes that is that set next up i have the assault vest swift swim Kingdra. So this thing outspeeds Mega Manectric without any speed investment, which is what I wanted, I believe, 206. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. But I can take hits like a Savage. I think it outspeeds, though. Um, but I literally take hits from anything on his team, except for the Electivire, which if my Kingdra has to take a hit from an Electivire, my plan failed and I'm losing the game anyway. Um, but I just needed Scald. Then I'm like, let's throw Hydro Pump on there. And then, what other powerful moves does it get? It gets Draco Meteor. Let's do Draco Meteor too. Why not? And then I'm like, well, what if I don't want to go for Draco? What if I just want to click, like, another Dragon move? And I go for Dragon Pulse. Then I go for Dragon Pulse too. So I just have my stab, the most powerful stab, and then the next most powerful stab for both my stabs. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Max HP, a Soul Fest. Again, pretty self-explanatory. And last off, we got v Ruby over here. Now, this is my safety net. This is the Pokemon that if everything goes to shit... I will send out the Starmie, and what it's going to do is I can take any hit using the Wakan Berry, and then I click Reflect Type, and then the game is over. If the if the Electivire is not around, or it's already close to being dead, or it's not Choice Scarf or something, I can successfully outstall every single Pokemon on his team with Recover and Toxic and Scald. Now, do I want to have to resort to that? No, but it is just a little safety net thing. I also have, I have the Analytic because he has a lot of fast Electric types on his team. That's what Electric types are. They're fast. They're even faster than Starmie. So, overall, Analytic's a good idea, especially if I'm going to be resisting the hits. Um, and if I have the Wakan Berry, I don't have to go for Reflect type. I could just click Scald. Um, and yeah, guys, so that is the team. And without further ado, let's get right on into the battle. 
All right, guys, let's get right on into the match. So he decided to bring a team I didn't expect him to bring at all, actually. I didn't, I, I didn't expect these mons at all. I really expected him to want to bring the Lantern. I, f I felt that was a perfect matchup against my team. Um, and the Electivire. I felt Electivire really put a hurting in on me. And, um, yeah, pr other than that, I guess this Zapdos, but the Thunderous Eye does the same thing as Zapdos. Just a little more bulky, um, which I think he might have wanted for this team. But, anyways, um, looking at it, my plan is still intact. I'm going to go normal speed, and I'm going to click play. And I don't mean to have music on. I'm going to turn that down um, or off completely. And I'll go Polytoad. And he goes with the Rotom, and I'm like, okay, he's going to click Leaf Storm. And I'm going to go to Poncho Man, and that is 42%. So I'm like, okay, he's choice. Probably choice scarfed, um, because he let off with it, and that's what I've been expecting. And I get the rain dish, and then I'm like, he's not gonna stay, and I'm gonna click leech seed. So plan, execution, set, execution set. What the hell is that from? That's from a TV show or something. Jeez. Battle routine set, execute. There we go. Fucking Mega Man Battle Network. Let's go. But I, I go for leech seed. I know he's gonna click Volt Switch now, because he doesn't want to have the leech seed. I'm just gonna go into my lantern. Now here. I don't want to click Volt Switch because he could go into Manectric and get a boost. Um, he could go into Raichu and get a boost. So I click Scald instead. Should have clicked Volt Switch, but not a problem at all. I get nice damage off. He goes for Leaf Storm on my Poncho Man again. And it doesn't do anything because he misses. And then I'm like, well, the rain's gone. Kind of want to keep up the rain, so I'm going to go for it right here. Go for Rain Dance. And here I was just like, well, in case he's Choice Specs or something weird like that or maybe even physical... Um, I'm just gonna click Scald. Does a lot of damage. I actually thought I switched out there, so that's why I said that. But I'm gonna go into Kingdra here because I'm expecting the Geki Drain this time because I went into my Lantern last time. And that's exactly what happens. And now I can go for a Hydro Pump and take something out. Doesn't happen that way. He ends up going into this thing and goes for the roleplay actually, which was cool to see, but he did it at the very wrong time because it didn't help him in the slightest advance. I should have gone for Scald. But I guess I'm kind of bluffing a Scarf for Specs right now. Um, I know he's going to go for T-Bolt this time. I don't expect him to go for HP Grass or something like that. Predicting my oh, 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 Lantern to come out. And now I know he's probably going to expect a Scald again. So I'm just going to Volt Switch out. And I'm going to go back into my Kingdra because I know it can take any hit. Goes for Leaf Storm. It would have done like maybe 35% to 230%. That sucks. That's unfortunate. But I did miss a Hydro Pump. So that's kind of come up so I guess go for Draco take him out um he ends up trying to pull a double switch right here back into thunderous as I go out into lantern and this is fine with me he goes for role play trying to get the volt absorb I'm not stupid I saw the role play before him I am just gonna click scald um I'm not gonna volt switch again anyway because he does have two lightning rod users so that's not the smartest idea in the world afraid the giga drain right here but I decide you know his team's weakened this is what my polytoad was made for I'm gonna go I take the hit Get the safe switch and just anything I want, and I just pick Swampert. And I'm just like, okay, Swampert, you are going to run train now. Ob obliterate everything. And now he goes to Raikou. And I know for a fact, this Raikou is one of two sets. Two sets. Modest with the Shooka Berry, or Timid with the Choice Scarf. And I was weighing it out in my head, and I'm like, the Rotom was Scarfed. The Rotom had to be Scarfed. Which means this thing had to be Shookaberry. Turns out he is Timid Choice Scarf, so he outspeeds me. But Timid Choice Scarf didn't have a chance to KO me. Um, Modest didn't have a chance to KO me, but I didn't want to deal with the Shookaberry. So I decided to go for the Waterfall instead, trying to get the Flinch. In case he wasn't Choice Scarf, because I didn't expect him to be, but he is. He goes for HP Grass again. Doesn't do anything to my to my Kingdra, and I go for Scald. And that does a shit ton of damage to this goddamn Raichu. He overpredicts, expecting me to go out into Lantern right here, or um, even on uh, just a Lantern, I'm guessing. Um, I'm just going to stand and go for Scald. Safe play on my part. I am Assault Vest. I can take any hit from anything at this point. Goes for T-Bolt, does only 30%, and I go for Scald again. If he had hit the Leaf Storm before, I couldn't have done this, but I could have just gone out into my Ludicolo at this point to win the game. Right here, I'm like, well, I see that I can get the 6-0, and I at this point, I actually thought that not everyone went through. I thought it was only the first two people in each group to go through. So I thought eight differential matters. But it turns out everyone goes through. Um, and you just get seated one to four. Um, I did not know that this time. So I probably wouldn't have gone for a 6-0 if I had known that. But he puts me out into Ludicolo. And Ludicolo just goes for Scald. See the rain dash. You see the leftovers. I'm nearly back at full. 
and this is just a 6.0 of monotype water versus monotype electric 6.0. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> Who would have thought? But to be completely honest, this was a great game. Um, I, for some reason, drafted a team that could take on Electric really well. And it played out in my favor. Um, he could have brought a few different Pokemon, in my opinion, that could have broken my team a little bit better than he did. Because he didn't break my team at all. Just the core I had with the... Um, with the Ludicolo and the Lantern, he just was not able to get past it. Um, and then the Kingdra being a Soul Fest, it could take any hit. Um, then just the Eject Button. I, th I feel like I prepped insanely well for this match. And to be honest, this is probably the m match that I was the happiest with on my prep for any GBA, any draft style league, anything. When I was prepping for this, I was like, I do not think I can lose this game because of the team I brought. I was really confident that... I would come out on top this game um even though i had the weakness because i was just looking at my team like oh my god this is just just building for this guy was so much fun i just come up with these sets and i was happy and it worked out in my favor as you guys saw so that was a 6-0 in my favor um the first battle of the groups um is a 6-0 for us so we are 1-0 plus 6 now and so these will be uploaded every thursday guys um for now every thursday for the next two weeks after this so next thursday and then the thursday after that is the last group stage battles and then the first round of the actual tournament style thing will be after that so i'm assuming if i get far in the tournament it'll be like a five week thing maybe um but other than that guys that's going to be it for today so if you didn't fact enjoy the video i'd really appreciate you to comment like rate or subscribe i love doing these types of draft style things i just feel it it suits my type of competitive style very well and i got water <laughs> there's nothing else i can say i got water randomly and water is so broken in my opinion literally i was just looking at it, i'm like do i even want to draft rain and i and, and i almost didn't draft it and then i'm like you know what the reason it's broken is because of rain and if i didn't have rain i don't think i could do as well and and to be honest i probably could have done just fine without rain but um in this match it helped a lot to have especially against the electric type and i did because rain dish really came up clutch with the extra six percent every single turn the swift sim also came in clutch so yeah guys i'm gonna stop rambling now so if you didn't fact enjoy it really appreciate it if you did leave a like or subscribe to my channel hawks channel is in the description below um check out it inside of the battle hopefully he learned from his mistakes and he can bounce back next week and start to win some games so hawk so gg man talk to you guys next time peace out